हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द थर्ड सी थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ द सीरीज सो विल बी सेटिंग अप द वी एम इंस्टेंस सो यू कम हियर ऑन द कंप्यूट इंजन एंड वी एम इंस्टेंस सो विल क्रिएट ए इंस्टेंस एंड देन मेक श्योर यूर कोटा रिक्वेस्ट इज अप्रूव्ड बाय गूगल देन ओनली यू विल बी एबल टू कॉन्फिगर जी पी ओ अदरवाइज यू वॉन्ट बी सो क्रिएट इंस्टेंस so in that case you can name it anything you want i'll just uh, go ahead with uh, instance 3 and then uh, you can choose and then make sure you choose the location which is very near to you and then uh, so i'll choose south carolina east 1b customize this and i'll keep four cpu because we will be running that kala uh, simulator which requires some heavily intense thing but i have not tried with two cpu but it is way cheap so it doesn't matter um and then uh, in the cpu platform i'll choose it automatic just choose one processor p100 i'll choose nvidia tesla p100 virtual workstation uh come down in the uh, here you will choose uh, the which os you want to uh, select so i'll come here and select windows server 2016 data center and uh make hard disk space as 80 gb which should i think 50 gb is also sufficient but to be on the safer side i'll keep it 80 gb and you can increase it later on as well next just make sure that you have all the things here now the other thing is uh, in management um section so so you can select this option as a preemptible as on uh, the reason for that is because it will be way cheaper if you select this option but if you running something on priority don't i will not recommend that you select this option as on and i'll say create and this process is going to take some time and then uh, once uh, the setup is done we will try to configure the rdp and log into the machine now our vm is up and running let's configure the rdp uh, so click here and say set windows password uh, you can choose the username as provided and then uh, copy this password to be on on the safer side uh, store this password somewhere so that you can use it later uh, yeah so now um, so since our rdp is configured let's try to connect that machine so come to your vm instance get the external ip address and then use uh, remote desktop manager enter pc name uh, give your pc name as your ip address and then connect and in the user account i have used the same credentials which is i have i've configured while setting up the rdp and i'm using a macbook here if you are using windows machine it will be much easier just uh, open the desktop uh, remote desktop control enter your ip address user id and password it will work and say connect just say continue here you go so we are connected to the machine so congratulations our machine is up and running but uh, yeah we have still have to configure nvidia and other stuff so next step is uh, open the server manager because uh, the reason for do coming here in the server manager is because the internet explorer is configured securely you won't be able to download any file so come here and then we'll make some changes i, I announced a security configuration so you have to come to local server and then make it off so that you will be able to download things which you want and then uh, open internet explorer ask me later come here and download firefox or google chrome 
whichever you want so I'll download Firefox here go to downloads download now run yes and the reason you can use Internet Explorer as well but since it is a old version it creates lots of problems so I, I use Firefox I'm used to it you can choose any browser that you want download Carla and download Carla. github Uh, go to releases windows save file okay so this thing is going to take some time because the total size of this is close to like 2.5 GB it depends on your network speed since we are on Google Cloud it is pretty faster okay so copy this to your desktop to keep these things uh, neat and clean in there and then yeah it's better to copy it on desktop because sometimes I accidentally delete things from download folder so okay so just extract all okay and now let's see let's try to run it let's see what happens and this is asking for Microsoft Visual C C++ you say yes install them say run uh, I agree and then you install it say yes So this is fine, I mean, because this is looking for the older version of .NET Framework, but which is fine in our case. Just say close and then we'll try to run it again and let's see what happens now. So it is giving us this error, DX11 features level 10.0 is required. And I'll show you how to fix this thing. Uh, yeah, so guys, welcome back. Uh, we are back here. So now let's uh, download the NVIDIA driver. So here is the short URL. I'll post this URL in the description. Save file. Go to downloads. So let the download finish and then we'll Okay, so download is ready. Run it. Yes. Okay. Agree and continue. Next. click on close and now before we get started with uh, Carla open the uh, device manager cancel this uh, press your windows key uh, go to device manager look at the monitors uh, install all the monitors which you see here install okay Uninstall this one as well. Uninstall. Okay. Uh, come to your uh, NVIDIA drivers. Just disable this. And now enable it back. Because when you disable it and enable it back, it will create a new monitor for you, which is will be used for, uh, which is used using the NVIDIA one. So when you enable it back, so let's refresh our screen. And yeah. We see it 
and now whichever is not used you can disable it so in this case I'll, I'll go ahead and disable this non PNP one so I do have a PNP monitor so now let's go and run uh, Kala which we have installed copied from the github so here is our Kala folder I'll come here and run this file and we are good to go it seems Kala is ready to run okay so here you go uh, this is running just use your mouse and then you can see look around and there are different towns and everything I mean that you can find it out later on and I'll create a different video series for that thank you so much